So here's our new kiln, pride of place, next to the lab kiln that I bought. This one, we're going to give it quite a lot of use actually. I've obviously been playing with it a little bit and to be honest, it's awesome. Now what we're going to use it to make from this one is some graphitic carbon nitride. Now the reason we're making carbon nitride is it's just an awesome material. You can do all kinds with it actually. Um, it is catalytic for making fuel from air. It will actually use sunlight to make hydrogen, to hydrogen split. It's a really amazing material. It's well worth having a look in Google Scholar and finding out what you can do with it. Because if you were to buy it, it's something like $100 a gram. It's a crazy price. And yet it's made from uh, urea. And we have some urea here. Urea prills, obviously, are just really, really cheap. So about a kilo of this stuff is going to cost you about two, three pounds, something like that. The processing is really easy to turn it into this wonder material, and that wonder material is worth a lot. Now, if you get any contamination, like bits of dirt or plastic, it will burn and turn this material a kind of a pinkish grey colour. What you're looking for is a lemon yellow, and it's only a matter of keeping it clean. Now, we're only going up to 550 degrees in this, so you don't need any exotic crucibles. Actually, a bit of pot will do just fine. So I've got a cup here, and what I want to do with that is put 150 grams of urea in it. There we go. And we heat that to 550 degrees centigrade and leave it at that for about three hours. Now, if we put it in like this, then it'll all just burn away. If you put a solid top on it, the pressure will build up and blow off. So you need a little top on there. But actually, a saucer upside down is just fine. Now, we made a three kilowatt device. It's very small, that's a lot of heat. So it is a bit vicious. It ramps up really, really quickly. You don't want to ramp it up too quickly or you will break your pot because you'll thermally stress the pot. What you do is put it on 100 degrees, give it, let it go to 100, leave it 15 minutes, bang it to 200, leave it 15 minutes, 300 and so on, and get it to 550, giving it 15 minutes between each 100 degree centigrade and then leave that for three hours, flip it off, come back to it when the whole thing's cooled down. So all we're going to do is put this in here. Put it in there, close it, turn that on, and that will begin to cook, and we'll get back to it three hours from now. <clears throat> okay, so it's about four hours. I turned it off and left it for an hour. Now, it is still a bit warm, that's why these things, but it's not terribly hot. And there is our product. So there you go, some graphitic carbon nitride. It's that yellow colour, and there's about 10 grams or so there. So the 150 grams of urea went down to about 10 grams of graphitic carbon nitride. But remember, it's about $100 a gram, that stuff. And it is, does some really amazing things. So it's a great thing to do as a first experiment in your homemade kiln, should you feel like it. Now, quick word of warning, it does give off ammonia. Now, it's not a terribly heavy smell of ammonia, but it is really quite strong. So you probably want to do it in a ventilated area, or at least warn your neighbours. But I guess, you know, if it was easy to do, everybody would do it. But it really is a piece of cake. You bang your urea into your cup, you put a lid on it, ramp it up within an hour or so to 550, leave it for three hours at 550 degrees centigrade, let it cool down, come back, You've got graphitic carbon nitride and you can start playing around with hydrogen from solar and, uh, well, all kinds of things, actually. But I thought I'd show you quickly how to do that experiment and a brilliant use for our kiln. Obviously, our kiln is going to get a lot more use, but I wanted to show you the kiln in action, doing something real. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you again. <laughs>